Pisces. Welcome to your weekly reading. This is going to be for Pisces. Uh, this is a general reading. It's not going to resonate with every single one of you out there. This is also not Sun, Moon, or Venus sign specific. Any Pisces placement that you may resonate with. Some of the messages may also resonate with you. At the end, I will pull some oracles, give you a bit more guidance for the week. I do only take jumpers, so I appreciate your patience. Time is elusive. We are all on different timelines. This could be happening now, may have already happened, or maybe more future focused. Straight to the point here, Pisces. Your first card out, strongest energy, the Four of Cups, Eight of Swords, Page of Pentacles, that is Earth Energy, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. We have the Knight of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini Energy, the Nine of Cups, Major Arcana, the Wheel, and the Six of Pentacles. Bottom of the deck, we have the Nine of Swords. All right, not realizing that the thing didn't wasn't even recording. So, recap. The last time we were talking about this Nine of Swords here, someone that is very stressed out. This is a situation of someone that had an opportunity right in front of them. They thought they had a lot more time. They thought, you know, they could sort of lollygag and, you know, take their time and, you know. But the reality is whatever this opportunity was is left their life. Okay, they, they no longer have the opportunity anymore, hence why they're so stressed out about it. And this is the realization that nothing is going to ever sort of match the, the, the vibe, the energy, the love that whatever situation has now been lost can give this person. So I'm going to see very clearly where their happiness is. You know, they didn't give, they didn't invest enough into something when they had it. And through the absence of it not being there, maybe there was a long period of sort of denial with the Eight of Swords and the Nine of Cups. Like, okay, I'll wait till it comes back or, you know, I don't really need it, but nah. It's getting worse. The stress is getting worse. Someone is progressively getting closer to the reality that something makes them very happy and they kind of don't want, they don't want anything else but this thing. Person, place, or thing. Some of you, it's absolutely a connection that you have most likely put on uh, the back burner. And whoever this is, I don't think this is someone you haven't spoken to in a whole bunch of time. I'm thinking no more than maybe a month. Anything more than that, probably not your reading. Okay, but the truth is, this is where this person's happiness lies. In this connection. Nothing makes this person happier. This is, this is something they actually see in their future. That they want in their future. Yeah, it's great to, to be solo, but it's even greater to have the Ten of Cups as opposed to the to the Nine. And I do get there's going to be an apology here. There's a lot of regret. Someone definitely feels uh, ashamed and regretful of how they went about things. The fact that they didn't see what was right in front of them, didn't see the value of what they had. And they do want a new opportunity here with the Page of Pentacles. They do want a new opportunity. They want to start over. They want to put uh, time and energy in with the Six and the One which is Seven of Pentacles. They want to give what they didn't give before. There's some sort of conversation as well that's going to happen. And it's luck. It's it's destined. It's fated. This was always sort of meant to happen. But, you know, people, people move at their own pace. People move at their own pace. But this is beautiful energy. The Sun card, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Ten of Cups. There's no denying. There's no denying where what gives you joy, what gives you happiness. Because now uh, the lack of it makes it very clear. Yeah, someone didn't want to sort of deal with their feelings. They were not, uh, you know. But look, we're going from the two of swords to the one of swords. We're getting rid of those swords here. And we do have a lot of swords. Eight, nine. Very stressed out. Like, oh no, what the hell did I do? What, what did I do? I just lost the best thing that has ever happened to me. I just lost a one in a million opportunity. As you can see, all these cups here are sort of regular cups, but this one cup, lots of magic. And someone's ego might have, you know, uh, another one will come along. No, no, nope. you're wrong. You know, no, nope. another one won't come along. And I think that's the realization and that's when the panic starts to set in. But if this is a connection between you and someone, whatever sort of dynamic that was happening between the two of you, that's over with. That's over with. It was any sort of pretending or, you know, the truth is going to be so, this is also timing energy. So within the next week, this is also a now card. This is also a yes card. It's time to move forward. Look at this reunion energy. Some of you are absolutely going to be hearing from someone that you want to hear from. The page of wands is all about good news. And there's the seven of pentacles. I told you so much ready to put the time and energy in. And there's the cup. 
Someone's going to do whatever they got to do to sort of get you back. Put the work in. Going from the Two of Swords to the, to the Two of Wands. There's no doubt that you are, you know, this person wants you in the future. So this absolutely won't be for all of you. If you have not heard from someone within the next, within the last month, express your love. Children, someone might have been a bit immature. Uh, if someone told you they don't want you and you have not heard from them in the month, this is not your reading. Okay, so express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. As I said, this person is going to pursue you. They want to heal this. They want to fix it. You are their desire. You are their ideal. They want a new beginning. They want a new chance. All that kind of stuff. And your love life is being influenced by children. I do get that's more so someone's immaturity. But they're growing. You know, they're growing. They're, they're, they're uh, bossing up. They're leveling up because we do see a lot of progress in the numbers here. One, two... Three, four, five, six, <laughs> seven, eight, nine, and lots of tens. So it might have taken maybe a year. You've been dealing with this person. It might have taken them a while to sort of understand themselves. It's not even about you. It's to understand themselves. You met them at a certain phase, and uh, they're entering another phase, whether they have realized it or not. I think they have now. Guidance, please, for Pisces. Whether they have realized it or not, they're definitely entering another phase. Air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We do have that here. We have Aquarius here. Clarity is what I'm getting. Someone's re definitely receiving clarity. Okay. Guidance, please, for Pisces. When I share my deepest pain, I give myself permission to be. Sharing shame. Yeah, someone is very there. <laughs> someone is very like, oh my god, I can't believe I messed this up. Like they're very ashamed of their actions. They were very ashamed of the fact they were unable to sort of see things for what they were. They're very ashamed that they let something get away from them. But I think they're gonna do everything in their power, this magician energy here, to get back on track, you know, to, to go after what it is they desire. Guidance, please, for Pisces. Decision has been made. If there was a lack of decision making before, the two of wands can also represent new contracts, new partnerships. Yeah, they see they see the future with you. There's an expansion that wants to happen. But uh definitely could be thinking whether or not it's too late. You will know if it's too late. If you as I said, if someone has told you they don't want you, this is not your reading. If you have not heard from someone within the last month, maybe even maximum two months, this is not your reading. Guidance, please, for Pisces. Nothing from the sacred Pisces. Some of you, this magician could also represent you very self-focused. You're no longer, you have no, you have stopped investing in this connection. You sort of invested, you waited it out, you weren't sort of receiving what it is you were putting in, and you're now focusing on yourself, and that is that is helping the realization happen faster. You know. Nothing from the deck to Pisces, huh? Okay. Expect powerful for change, of course. You see how long you had to wait for that? See how long that, that took to come out? Yeah. Definitely. Someone took a while to realize some things, no doubt. Okay, let's see what we have here so I don't do that. Those we have for Pisces, please. Could also be by the next air sign season, whatever that is. Get more information. And the bottom of the deck we have a year from now, okay? Wait, not the right time. You are ready. <laughs> Success. This is pretty much someone's um, process here. A year from now, get more information, wait, not the right time, you're ready. I think this is where they're at now. They might have been at wait and not the right time before, but they're definitely ready for success. And there's something better. Meditation brings answers. Okay, what else do we have? Are we missing any? Animal Oracle, please, for policies. Lion Spirit. Be generous of spirit, number 37. Yeah, someone's gaining courage. Also could be some Lion's Gate energy here. We do have an eight. We do have this Leo energy, which is August 8th. 
could also be timing. This could be happening by August 8th by the Lion's Gate or, you know, around that time. All right, that is your reading, Pisces. Hopefully it resonates. Thumbs me up. Do not forget to subscribe. See you guys next week.